Hey you guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. Playing an EIK WM France Deck G456 game with Neros, Kai, and V. Um, the draft 10, so I'm going to have to be extra careful to make sure I see all the cards. It's more than, more than usual. Uh, let's take a look at this first pile. I see Educator. Educator, very, very strong card. Uh, we've got Officer here. Uh, nursemaid, whenever another player has a larger family than you. Oh, it's a buffed uh, midwife. Okay, uh, buff midwife is all it is. Um, the pick is educator, and it's not close. Educator is a fantastic card, very strong. The ability to play all your occupations very early, ability to play them without having to use actions, very strong. Um, let's see what Cattle Rancher does. Whenever you use day labor, pay one food for cattle. So it becomes a five food space, day labor does. Um, alternatively, we have something like compost farmer, flower plus, so pay wood to build a stable. That's a fine card, seems fine. Balance farmer is kind of interesting. Um, Yeah, Balance Farmer is kind of interesting because it lets me get food. If I could ever get two food per round with it, that like will help the educator so much. So much. Um, I'm not quite sure what I should be picking here. I think I'm leaning towards Balance Farmer. Cattle Rancher is good in that you want good actions for... Um, to get to get food with but the problem is with cattle ranchers you have to have a cooking hearth for it to be worth anything or a fireplace which takes work and takes time compared to something like dancer where the moment you play dancer with educator you immediately can take it and then continue to play occupations so i think we take balance farmer here yeah All right, next up. Well, um, plowmen and fence deliverymen are kind of similar uh, in that they both uh, help you. They bo you both pay for them and then they give you stuff over time. Um, I think the pick that I take here from here though is borrower. I don't know if anyone's likely to take it. It's possible that it would come back to me, but Borrower is just like ridiculously good for the educator. Getting seven food to get your next two occupations out is really strong. Yeah, so Sid says this pick has to be borrower. It's like the perfect educator card. Yep, I agree. And uh, nice thing is I'm getting something decent back. I'm getting chief's daughter, plowman, fence delivery men, or wood delivery men, or clay plasterer back. Any of which I would be happy with. Um... Okay, this pick I'm pretty sure is Project Servant. Uh, three food if you have a built stable, one pasture, two stone fields, renovated to stone. Um, the problem with a card like Project Servant is you, the, playing the Project Servant slows you down from actually doing any of these things. But if I'm playing, um, if I'm playing this without using an action, then that can help me a lot. Um, so I'm pretty sure the pick here is Project Servant. Nothing else really looks like. Baker is good, but I haven't seen any combinations with it yet. Um, yeah, I think I'd just take Project Servant here. So it says, was the first pack strong? These locks are pretty mediocre overall. Um, no, not really. Educator was like far and away the best card.
like we're just waiting on some other decisions to be made. Pray for some high hawk miners, I guess. <laughs> I, it, you don't need, I mean, educator is enough. Zanswal asks, is smuggler worse than project servant there? Um, hmm. Uh, you know what? When Smuggler came out, I rated it pretty highly uh, as a way to get grain reliably. But then the thing is, with G456, they added so many ways to get crops. Um, yeah, well, the thing is, um, G456 added so many ways to get crops, I really don't rate I don't rate Smuggler highly at all. Now, the thing is, Smuggler does help you with Balance Farmer a bit. Like, you can turn your third wood, third wood into a grain, for example to balance farm but um, I find the conversion is just not that good and the other thing that I find hap happens with smuggler is you pass up on good on actual good um, green support cards yes yeah, it uh, pretty much saying what I just said yeah I, I I think you could go either way. I think Project Servant seems kind of cool. I kind of want to try it out. With Educator, I think the fact that you can get it out earlier um, should do something. Okay. Um, looking at this pile now. Pretty sure the pick is Thatcher's Helper. Um, Cheapskate is kind of interesting because Cheapskate lets me play a miner without, like, it, okay, so Cheapskate, if I get a card like Animal Pen, is would just be absurd because it would let me play a miner, uh, like get, an, get a card like Animal Pen out ridiculously quickly. Um, so, okay, so if I, so it's the pick is cheap, Cheapskate if I want to play towards that. The pick is Thatcher's Helper if I want to just like play normal. And the thing is, my Thatcher's Helper will get me a bunch of wood and reed, which is exactly what I want. Um, and it'll let me buy it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the pick is Thatcher's Helper here. This pick... Um... I think the pick here is 24601. I think with Thatcher's Helper, I'm looking at two two rooms. Um, yeah, and the fact that I don't have to spend an action to play it is very appealing. Like if I can play it for six points in round 12, that would be best case scenario. Um, Tanner, it, Tanner is something, Tanner's, Pretty Tanner's a good card, but I haven't really seen any like way to get a ton of animals. Uh, so I think I take two four six zero oh, one here. And then this one, it's either Plowman or Fence Deliveryman. Both are excellent. Um, so let's see. I need a pasture at the end of the working phase in round nine. So I need a pasture built in round nine. So if I played fence deliveryman in round three, then it would trigger my project servant. So that looks like a pretty easy pick here. Yeah, I think fence deliveryman's a bit better than plowman just because it, um, I think it's easier to plow than to get wood. There's more miners that let you do that. A lot more plows for sure. Okay, um, yeah, popcorn. I like popcorn quite a bit, especially with a card like Thatcher's Helper. Buying those reed, turning them into grain seems excellent. Um, so I see a card like Harvest Totem, which supports playing all seven occupations. The thing is, I'm not going to go for a grain field all that early, so don't think I'm taking it. A card like Banana Tree looks pretty strong. Um, yeah, looks quite strong. Um, I don't know how I take any of these over, like, like yeah, 
For me, the picks I'm looking at like cookies, cloister, popcorn. Probably not cookies because I want to take popcorn before I take cookies. And cloister also is a reward for kind of a big house. So I'm kind of leaning towards cloister here. Uh, I think banana tree is pretty strong. I think popcorn is quite nice. Um, hmm. Yeah, popcorn is interesting. Um, certainly rewards nice read actions. I've got three read coming in from my Thatcher's Helper. Balanced Farmer likes read stone food a lot. Um, Sid says amusement park with fence deliveryman is strong as well. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I think that'll come back though. Do like popcorn as well, yeah. Um, cloister is like the most points, which is appealing. Cloister, like three points for two rooms is pretty good. Um, I think, I think though, if I really wanna go for my project servant, I think popcorn is the pick. I'm going to regret this as soon as I, yeah, I could do banana tree, cloister. I think you could justify amusement park. I think you could justify any of those decisions. You know what? I'm reading popcorn slightly lower. There's peasants boutique in this pile. I'm going to take cloister. I'm going to rate popcorn down just a little bit. Okay, um, what do we got here? Let's see what negotiation does. When you build a major improvement, return any major improvement instead of paying the cost of the new improvement, and it costs a stone. This looks awful. This looks really awful. So you return the two clay fireplace and pay a stone and a minor improvement in order to get the well. Looks bad. Um, don't want to take candy room. Animal yard is fine, but it's pretty meh. Um, like a card like guest plow a little more. Guest plow is kind of interesting, especially with cloister. If I want to build more than one room, more than one rooms. Um, I think though the pick is just like storage shed. Storage shed is quite good. Uh, especially if I'm going to grow my family a couple times. The only issue with Project Servant is I do have to keep it until round 7, the end of round 7. I guess a way of around that is just by building more than one stable. That's an option. Yeah. Uh, Sid says, don't forget about Basket Maker as well. Yes, there was Basket Maker out there, out there as well. So yeah, the read might not be as plentiful as we would expect it to be. Um, okay, wow. Uh, well, a card like Whale Oil with Educator, obviously amazing. The only issue is, is that Whale Oil is slow. Like, it slows down your early game cards. So I, I normally would love taking Whale Oil. And maybe I still can. The problem I see with it is just that it, you know, if I educate her into borrower and then that, that lets me play my fence delivery men, then probably whale oil is only triggering off my last four occupations, in which case whale oil is probably, you know, do I want to go on fishing all that many times or would I rather just be balancing my balance farmer and get food that way? We do have a card like Golden Rose, um, this another like whale oil, golden rose, both great at with educator. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I th like raspberries is awesome. Um, pumpkin patch is interesting. Like raspberries is a fantastic card. Baby sling is an excellent card as well. Um, Sid says with golden rose and boar trap in the draft, if you had both, you would justify setting up greenfield in stage one. Yeah. Thing is, it is a lot, that would be a lot of work and it does like incredibly slow down your game, but yeah, for sure, it would make all your occupations like give you great stuff. Um, Baby Sling is a fantastic card. Like it's a really, really, really great card and I think it's very underrated. Um, I think I'll take Baby Sling here. 
Raspberries is awesome, but I think I take baby sling. Okay, underground shed. Return the well and build four stables for free. That's kind of random. Um, bark breads. One wood, two food, and convert two food, two wood into one food each. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, lamp oil. Another card that rewards me having that makes gives me food when I play occupations. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm taking something like cow chips here, although reed exchange is definitely worth considering. Reed exchange with balanced farmer is something for sure. Um, hmm. I mean, petting zoo is just a great card, classically great card. Two wood for three points on one action is a great conversion. Um, I think the reason that baby sling is undervalued, guys, is because um, because people see it helping their opponents, but they because of that fact they undervalue the help it gives them, like the fact the fact that it gives you an action immediately back, and it's better than um, adoptive parents because the baby is still a baby. You don't have to pay them an extra food. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, all the stats show that it's like still really undervalued. So I think it's I think it's a really great card, um, especially if I can line it up so that I can do five family gross throughout the game or get to five family members. So uh, yeah, this pick is interesting. Uh, I could do cow chips. I could do petting zoo. Uh, I could do lamp oil. They're all playable. I could do reed exchange. Um. Cow chips can't be played until I have a cattle, which might come very late. Uh, petting zoo is playable earlier, and reed exchange is playable earlier. And yeah. I think Thatcher's helper should get me enough reed, so I'll take petting zoo here. I think petting zoo is an excellent card. You know what? I already have an... Mm, it's kind of an end of the game bonus point card, just like Storage Shed. So I'll take Lamp Oil, I think. Wow, Popcorn Wield. So Slam Dunk Popcorn here. It's not even. I, I think Amusement Park is good in this game, but uh, I think Popcorn is just like a Slam Dunk pick here. I think popcorn. I think popcorn is probably still very undervalued. And uh, okay, this pick, stone axe is something, wood saw is something. But I did see the midwife out there, so I don't think I want to take wood saw in case somebody's really playing towards midwife. So guest plow is the pick I'm gonna take here, and definitely looking at making a big house. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? We've got raspberries, golden rose, whale oil. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so whale oil gives less of a discount than golden rose, but it's more work, but also less work, if that makes sense. Like, whale oil requires three wood into start player whale oil into taking two food fishing usually whereas raspberries I mean raspberries is an awesome card golden rose is an awesome card um, all three of these are super playable for me and not just playable but really good I, I think there's just no way I can pass on whale oil. Like, in the event that I start third in round, or fourth in round one, that I get three wood into whale oil, like, this card will just be an absolute monster. 
Like, I think Golden Rose is interesting, but I don't think I'm going to plan or get crops until later in the game. I start in third, but it is possible that Occupation goes 1-2, and if Occupation goes 1-2, I think I would 3 wood over read some food here. Rail oil and educator is pretty nuts. Yep, I agree. Because <coughs> the plan is I'll do something like two food fishing round two. And then maybe educator second move after that. Something along those lines. So we're starting off with Master Huntsman. Hey, what did I just say? Well, this never happens, but I'm going to pass Narrows, read Stone Food, and take three wood. I think it's wor worth it here. So here's Master Huntsman for uh, Kai. And then V plays Where's Salesman. So V probably picked up the um, basket makers upgrade. Although there were a couple. Here's where salesman. Uh, so there were a couple, there were actually a bunch of cards that triggered this. There was the stone card, stone cutter, there was the basket maker, there was the basket maker's upgrade card. Um, yeah. Bunch of stuff. So, uh, I think this is going to be good enough that I can first action whale oil here and then second action educator if it comes back to me and if it doesn't come back to me then that means I'm getting three wood or two reed which I'm happy with either of those Sid says I think popcorn into golden rose probably comes too late the early reed will be hard to come by come, probably comes with Thatcher's helper by which point probably only two occupations left to play yeah I uh, that, that was pretty much my analysis as well Sid that uh, Golden Rose is just too late. So V plays Occupation Drunkard. So you can pay a food to move a family member from the take one grain space to an unoccupied action space. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I actually have a choice here. Um, I have the choice between going on uh, occupation and two read. Uh, I think I'll just play my occupation. It's time to get it out. So it costs me net zero food. And here's my educator. Seems, uh, talking about, I, I think you guys are talking about Golden Rose, pushing the Golden Rose earlier. Would it forfeit rooms in tempo? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to educate her, grow as much as I can while also still very much being in the family growth queue. Like, I don't want to drop, if I can grow third, I want to make sure that I'm growing third. I don't want to drop any lower than that. Clay exchange here for Naros. Converted a reed into three clay. I guess he just was tired of going fourth. <laughs> or, well, he was second here. I guess this board, there's not much to do. Like the three clay is better than either of the two clay actions for sure. Um, maybe Drunkard is not planning on playing that many occupations and doesn't think that Golden Rose will be worth very much for them. Uh, 
All right. So next occupation, borrower. Then after that, balance farmer or fence delivery man, depending on what round it, it will be. Trying to remember what was in that pack. Um, yeah, well, certainly we were surprised with the three cards that came back to us. <laughs> like, we wanted all three of them. Yeah, I agree. All the best cards did come back, so yeah. So we had Neros go for the Reedstone food again. I guess, yeah, Clay Exchange might have just been because they didn't love the options. Reedstone food three times in the first three rounds is very strong. Very good position to be in. So we've got V playing f Corn Scoop. So you have to pay a food at the beginning of the round and then you get to move from green to somewhere else. Okay, that's interesting. Um, fishing is actually hopefully going to be worth three food here. And V is gonna go on grain and I'm gonna hope that these guys go on occupation. So this is not a great move, but I think I whale oil uptick here. I think this is like a three food action. So one food action is indefensible, but I think it's, I'm hoping it's a three food action and I hope that these guys are gonna occupation. Although we might see Kai go on major minor and we might see Neros take three wood. So if it's three wood, major minor grain, then obviously it was a bad move. But if that's the case, then I get three wood back, so. I need to play fence deliveryman here if you want it in time for project servant. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Narrow's going for the first fireplace. Okay. That's pretty surprising considering that round four is sheep and that the Master Huntsman is already in play. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll just manually play Fence Delivery Men here. It's not great. But net gets me plus one food, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. I don't love passing six wood to V at the start of the next round, but I think there's a chance I get four wood, so if I get four wood, then I'm okay with it. And if V plays an occupation, then or would have played an occupation, then I'm sad. Yeah, it looks like he was thinking about jumping to occupation. Ah, oh. <laughs> considering the fact that they're having to think now. Uh, what did we do? I didn't even, I did not see. Well, I will take four wood very happily. Pretty sure V is taking, um, 
You know what? No, V is going to go on uh, grain, so V cannot take uh, forward uh, to read in front of me. Um, oh, V did day labor for two food. Okay, that's what they did. So here's my fence delivery man. X minor engineering for Naros. Whoa. Free reno to a clay house. So I imagine Naros probably took uh, clay, clay plasterer and is planning on building clay rooms. So that's fun. Could even go for a stone house, maybe, if it took like candy room and lighthouse or something like that. The problem with a card like candy room, yeah, no one is playing any ox. Yeah, I know. They saw mine and now we're avoiding them, like the plague. It's okay, they will over the course of the game. It just means that my, my stuff's going to come out later than I would like it to. I'll just have to be a little smart about the timing of my, about the order. Like, I'm not just going to automatically get them all out in the order I want. So, uh, unfortunately, Kai is in a great position here. Because uh, Kai can afford not to build a room until the first action, round five. Okay, here we go. Narrow's playing Stone Sculptor. So I will awk and play... Uh, I'll play Borrower here. Net minus one food to play. And then I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll just put two markers on Borrower for my... And now, the rest of my occupations are free with whale oil. I will play Thatcher's Helper. That's the next one I'm going to play. Stone. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're probably right, Sid. That that the uh, Thatcher's helper first was probably just the safer play overall. I should have done that. So I'm in a position to build a room. I expect Neros to take the clay here to set up building a room with the second action, and keep, but. I mean, Kai and I will both build ahead of him for sure. Uh, interesting question for me. Do I... Do I start player here? I think probably not. Uh, because I still want to get the wood to build a room. Or to build stables. Yeah. And if family growth is round seven, then, and I start player here, then I'm really in a bad spot.
Narrow's going for Reedstone for food first move. Okay. Maybe gambling that nobody else wants that for clay. Sure. So Kai builds a room, of course. I expect V to take four wood. Nope, V is building clay oven with his first move. And then his second move is going to be grain, and then his third move... Question mark. So four wood for me, which I'm quite happy about. That's what I wanted. My second move might be fishing. Fishing might be the best thing here for me. I could play baby sling. Yeah, I guess I should play baby sling. But if nobody else is able to build, then there's no need for me to build. I don't know. I could also go for two rooms, is the other thing. I have ten wood now, so I only need to get another four. Alright, Kai playing Head of the Revolution, which lets me play an occupation myself. That occupation will be Thatcher's Helper. Or net zero food. Okay, so let's zoom in on... Thatcher's helper. Read, wood, wood, read, wood, read. And uh, I could take four clay, or I could take whale oil, which is fishing, which is five food. Hmm. I really don't need the clay for like a long time. I think I'll just fish here. Especially because it's kind of a food type game uh, with the sheep coming late. If this is a food type game, then getting all the extra food should be nice. Although Drunkard is helping offset that. Okay, V plays. Occupation. Talented tradesperson. You want to use the day labor space, you get stuff. Okay, Oc. So I will play an Oc. And I will play Project Servant, just in case nobody else plays something. And I get net plus one food. So here's my Project Servant. V took Cattle Rancher as well. Um, makes sense, although it doesn't have anything to do with the Cattle Rancher. Oh, round six is family growth. Okay, well, that works nicely for me. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, v doesn't have a cooking hearth yet, is what I mean. Yeah, needs a hearth, yeah. So my move will be um, I'm going to build two stables because I'm going to storage shed on family growth. So actually my two moves here, well, hmm, what are my two moves here? I think my two moves are Build a room in two stables, and then second action will be baby sling, maybe. Or my first action round seven can be baby sling, depending on how this is working out. Although I would like to get my storage shed out before I go before I play my baby sling, ideally. Mm, storage shed on the last five is okay, but... 
Two read into two rooms? Mm, yeah, that's an option as well. Baby sling into double growth, yeah. Yeah, that is an option. I think V is probably taking two read though, right? Because V wants to be able to build a room. Wow. Um, the thing is, Narrows can build a room now. So I'm pretty much forced to build a room here. Although I could build next round. Nah, I think it's okay to build here. Um, my fencing, it, my, my stable, my Fields will be a little weird in this game because of Cloister. Cloister always does that. I think this is okay, just like that. I can go back and build another room later. So then when Kai... Um, uh, project Servant is end of the working phase. So since Project Servant is end of the working phase, then if I am going to play Storage Shed, then the second one goes away. So Baby Sling is a bit worse if I don't get it out for my first family growth, but I think it's still playable. I think I can still play Storage Shed, and then like in round 9 when I have to start player into family growth, I can Baby Sling into, you know popcorn or whatever and it'll be fine I could start player sling here but start players already taken yeah thing is here it's just using an action to get an action back which uh, I don't know about that that I don't know if that's worth it because so Kai plays five rings. So the thing about pay, playing Baby Sling here is then Neros' first action grows, and I let Neros grow right away in response. Oh, uh, F4, R. I need to subtract in food to buy the Thatcher's Helper. Yes, yeah, so the thing is it's an option. Um, I would, I'm just banking this action to get an action back next round. Or I could just use the action right now. Mm. I guess I get the action back, but then I also get the action in the future, and then I can play my other miners. The problem is I kind of want to play my miners after Storage Shed is out. That's what I kind of don't like about this play. Is that I don't get the, I don't get the read back for Thatcher's Helper for a while. Um... I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I think I just take wood. And then if V plays an occupation, I'll be sad because I miss out on Balanced Farmer at one wood, one read, but <laughs> that's okay. Hey, he does play an occupation. Oh, man. Oh, that's okay. Playing Baby Sling would have meant that I don't get it as well.
I could potentially do it first action if no one builds. Yep, that's true. Like if Neros doesn't, because V is not threatening build, but the problem is Kai is threatening build. So I'm pretty sure Neros has to first action build a room. I don't think I'm going to get a payoff from Balance Farmer for a few rounds. I could hold off on playing it um, until Lamp Oil is out, but I think Lamp Oil is so far away. So far away. Wow, Neros did go for the sheep. Interesting. So does Kai first action build a room here? I think so. That's what I would do if I were them. Especially because they've got the Cooking Hearth Huntsman out already. They should have pretty reliable feeding. Yep, there it is. There it is. Do you think they will block me? What do you mean by block me? Like if I played... Oh, you're saying if I played Baby Sling here, would they go on Family Growth with the next move? Um, uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it's probably not worth risking it. I think it's okay just to storage shed here. Oh, uh... I think the sling, playing the sling on its own without getting a, a resource off of it from storage shed, I think it's just not worth very much. I, I mean, I don't want to give Kai another family growth in a row. I want Kai to have to put good actions into family growth thing, like first, first, of, the, first of the round, for example. I think it's just too good for Kai to do that. Nero's taking three stone. What is Nero's doing? I have no idea. Does Nero's have midwife? Or Nero's wanting to hold off for a wood saw build instead of a just build room build. So I'm pretty sure Kai's taking five food traveling players here. That would be my guess. Storage shed doesn't pay off on itself, does it? I don't think. No. What's going on, Kai? Not sure what to do. Okay, I'm gonna... I'll wait until my next move and then I'll be right back. Helper activates on my own family growth. Yeah, it does. I forgot to take it. It's whenever any player, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, whenever any player takes a family growth action. I'm 
Remember Scott says, cool, I misplayed it a few times. <laughs> uh, that's too bad. So, three food from Thatcher, or three food from uh, Project Servant. I don't think there's anything else I have to do here. And then feed five. No ox for a while. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got uh, Kai playing Bargain Hunter, and then Bargain Hunter playing Banana Tree. Okay. food on traveling players I can do that so the first three moves all the things that I kind of am interested in are gone uh, four clay is good for me I'll just do read stone food um, I'm gonna want one extra read to get to a stone house I'm actually gonna need two more read because I'm gonna need two read to two read to build Two read to run out of stone and one more read for cloister and probably one more read for baby sling. Although getting one read is pretty easy with my storage shed. I do have popcorn as well, so extra read is probably going to be worthwhile. So first action read stone food I think is probably fine. I would have liked to have seen boar come out here, because then I could take two boar next round and start breeding them with my fence stable, but uh, two sheep is fine enough. Or getting two boar in round 10 is okay as well. We've got Nero's finally building. Excuse me.
I think banana tree looks quite good, although I don't like it here. I like it at the beginning of the game way more. Like, I think in playing it here and only getting one food before the next harvest is pretty marginal, but if you can get it in time for, uh, like in round two, for example, get two food before the round one harvest and three before the stage two harvest, it's like crazy. Do I want a 14 point convict? <laughs> I, yeah, it would be worth 14 points directly, but, uh... Okay. So what I could do is I could start player with my last move and play popcorn. Actually, or play baby sling. Yeah, not popcorn. I would play baby sling. Get anything other than reed and stone would trigger my balance farmer in round nine and Thatcher's helper. Although Thatcher's helper is going to get me a reed as well. Oh, so I just get a stone. There we go. I get a stone and then from the baby sling and then the reed uh, replenishes itself thanks to Thatcher's helper. That looks good. Kai playing country silo. This is a card that when we started playing G4-5, I thought was going to be like an absolutely amazing card. But what ends up actually happening is that most of the time, um, what happens most of the time is that Country Silo just comes too late. And also the fact that it costs you three wood means that you then... So what you want with Country Silo is to not need wood that badly so that your opponents can be giving you grain. But the problem is Country Silo's steep three wood cost means that you need to keep going back to that space, which uh, hurts for sure. So I'll play Baby Sling here and get a stone and then get a balanced food. And then Fence 4 for two food. And then I could build a room here. Yeah, because V is going to build a room if I don't build a room. And I want to grow ahead of V. Go Kai. Kai plays clay exchange, sure. And I'll build a room. Big game hunter? I don't know what that means. Oh, like big game as in going for big points from convict. Yeah, no, 24601 would be cool, but uh, my actions, my third action is going to be worse stuff, so not going to do it now. And notice how I had played baby sling and Naros immediately family growth. So I think that gives kind of our answer to whether or not people were going to let me jump in the family growth queue. And in fact, I am going to let V catch up if V, um, if, because I'm going to baby sling in round 10 off of the space. I do have guest plow as well, so it'd be kind of nice to get guest plow off before I family growth. You may not have noticed that's true. Yeah, that's possible. They do. They do sometimes miss sling. Um... It would be nice to get my guest plow off. Um, but I think I'd probably just start plowing normally. I think V is really far behind, so letting them catch up is fine. That's true. I agree, 100% agree with that. Yeah. What did Kai do? Vegetable? That's a weird move. That's a really weird move. Why did they first move vegetable? They, they probably have that miner, that pumpkin patch, right? They want to set up that pumpkin patch miner is my guess. Uh, so I'm already the start player. So I don't need to start player again. I don't think I need to three wood that badly. Uh, although I don't mind three wood. I 
I have fence delivery men coming in for another four. So I need some wood, but not like a crazy amount. I could take the sheep, yeah. I could just plow. I think I like plowing here, actually. Because I, if I want to get my round 11 um, tradesperson, I do need two fields. So I think plowing is fine. And then three wood or sheep will come back. And then whichever of those two come back is what I'll take. Manure shoveler for Naros. So I could think about family growth in here. Or I could, sorry, I could think about a 12.24601 here. Because I know I'm going to get the action back in round 10. So I'm going to have three peep, three actions per round the rest of the way. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go big. Why not? Let's do it. Plus F. Twelve points. And we have turnip field here for Kai. Okay. On start player, sure. Now the thing is, if Kai uses their country silo to get six wood, great. But you have to do that multiple times in order to actually have gained from the country silo. Feed six. Should really should have put the stables down at the bottom so I could fence big for ahead of the revolution. Or at least the fences at the bottom. Hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and I was, I did say, I'm not sure what I should, like, my, my clo cloister always makes placing your stables different from what you're used to, which is annoying. Um, yeah, I should, I should have done something like that. You're right. Don't think I'm building more rooms. No, I'm not. I was, well, kind of what I was thinking is I'll fence these six spaces here and then go for five fields. But of course that with head of the revolution, usually you want to do a bit smaller. The problem is I do know real estate agent is out there. So I'm guessing probably Kai has real estate agent in hand and is going to do like a massive fencing and then make it smaller. But I mean, even if they do do that, they have to uh, get smaller. Oh, wood from Thatcher's helper. Yes, you're right. I did. I did forget. Because, yeah, I bought the, the reed in the last round. Uh, balance farmer plus F. No, no, I don't get the balance farmer because I just picked up a wood. Ah, uh, too bad. That's okay. playing another minor. This is where I really like a card. Like I think Bargain Hunter, it, there's a lot of games where it doesn't fit, but the games where it fits, it's just so nice. Like what it can do can just be so good. There's the pumpkin patch. Yeah, I figured. Gets to save a resource on his major improvements. Nice. Fortunately, has already built the well, but with Master Huntsman, doesn't mind building more for sure. Yeah, so Kai gets his six wood, but I mean, he had to pay three wood to get that, and he, that means he doesn't get grain, so 
So V building a room here. So that tells me I need to baby sling here with this action. So yes, family growth. And then I put an extra person out for my 24601. This person comes home and I get a wood and I get a wood for my own family growth and I get to play an occupation and I'll play occupation uh, popcorn because guest plow is not really worth anything anymore. So I'll play popcorn and get a um, read. Right? I think that makes sense. So one one person's there for the baby sling, one person's there for the 24601, and I still have two more actions left. Looks fine. And then I get to pay a food for that read on V's family growth, and then I have two read in my supply so that I can plow one more field, and then so, and then I hit my project servant for round 11. Now getting to stone in round 12 is gonna be dicey. Um, uh, it's doable, but yeah, it's going to be difficult, I think. I do have to sort out some feeding. Yes, you're right. I absolutely do. Yeah, so I probably have to build a uh, cooking hearth or a fireplace. If I let my sheep accumulate a couple more times, a fireplace will probably be enough. But uh, definitely need to do something with cooking hearth or fireplace. I agree. I guess like basket maker's workshop would be okay too. But with popcorn, you really don't want basket maker's workshop. Kai building the joinery. Okay. Oh, saves two stone. Of course, five rings. I forgot about that. Also, here's my popcorn. There are just five food actions lying around as well, which is something for sure. I think I plow with this move. So narrow sewed, okay. So my sew action should be pretty safe next round. Twelve point two four six zero one. I wonder when. Wonder what the maximum. I'm sure someone's d done some like crazy high number, but yeah, twelve points seems pretty high. <laughs> yeah, it looks looks pretty good. Uh, is there a way I can trigger balance farmer next round? Uh, I guess I buy a read when V family grows, right? So that gets me for one, and that's the best I can do unless I spend uh, two clay somehow, or three wood somehow. I could spend three wood, but I don't see, think there's any particular, like it's not worth the action just to get one more food, so. I played a game where someone did it for 14, nice, very nice. Farm school in stage two, wow. That's pretty cool. 
Shouldn't that be 16? Yeah, I was going to say. If it's stage 2, it should be 16. I don't think they won, but it was cool. <laughs> uh, making me nervous with that toxin. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Like, I still have a lot of actions, and I have a lot of food. I'd be more worried if my feeding in round 11 was worse, but I have time to get my feeding for round 13 sorted. These guys want food? Yeah, I guess they do. So I'll buy a read. He plays cookies. I think I just take food with this action. It could take vegetable. I think this is okay. I don't have any more occupations in hand, so I don't really need to mark whale oil anymore. They did it with their third peep, didn't grow immediately, and no sling to help. Yeah, that's the problem. You really can't you can't go back to two. The difference between three three people and two people is huge. Like the four, the difference between your fourth and your third is a lot smaller, but the difference between your going from two to three people is huge just in terms of how much you can accomplish and the value of those extra actions. Neros, Reno Stone House. Wonder if Neros has Shepherd's Boy, maybe. Planning to play that. Reno Harvest Totem. So lamp oil is a free point at some point. Cloister is worth three points. So very likely worth playing cloister. Very likely. It's only one fewer point than renovating to a stone house, but it costs me one stone less. But it actually gives me a resource back as well with my uh, with my uh, stuff. Balance F. So I've got eight food here, and I've got three food coming in at the end of the round, assuming I get a so bake action, which I should. If I don't, then I've really screwed up this game. Um, well, I guess there's a possibility that V does a random bake action. That is a possibility. But V has eight food in their, in their um, supply, and only needs seven in this harvest, so... I think we're going to be okay. We do want to take wood. Can we speed this up? Yeah, it is going a little slow for sure. Yeah, Kai averaging 41 seconds per move. So I think first number is median and second number is mean. So we can see that Neros is only barely playing flat faster than Kai. So it's always ironic when the person who's third slowest is complaining about the fourth slowest person. <laughs> Underground shed, okay. This is kind of cool, planning on rebuilding the well. Yeah, very cool with Bargain Hunter. I like this, very cool play.
So I'm definitely looking to get a family growth even without room, especially because I get the action back. Thank you to thanks to Baby Sling. So start player round twelve or round thirteen is looking nice. Well, round thirteen less so, because round thirteen usually round fourteen what you want to be doing is plow sow rather than family growth. Round thirteen, round twelve, family growth is usually better. But yeah, that's cool. I like this uh, playing the miner and then immediately rebuilding the well for Kai. Cool play. Didn't need to do it because uh, nobody else. Well, actually, V has the resources to build the well, I guess. So it did need it. I'll take four wood quite happily. So possible that V does so bake here with their second action. Um, if they do, I'm a little sad, but it's not the end of the world. Four wood was worth passing on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I have all the wood I need for the rest of my fencing. I could afford to build one more stable if I wanted. You gotta remember uh, Head of the Revolution. I keep forgetting about it, along with my opponents, I think. I think we've all forgotten about it. So I keep taking plow really aggressively and I might just get Head of the Revolution by accident. Let's see what V does here. Is V going on so big? Yeah, V is going on so big. Too bad. Oh, it's not a big deal. So I will uh, start player, I think. I'll start player lamp oil. Get a... But just take seven... Oh, seven food. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, seven food is good. This is a weird game. Sheep came late, but there's actually been an abundance of food thanks to late family growth. And also the fact that a lot of food has been injected into the game. Yeah, I could take vegetable as well, but I'm pretty sure vegetable's coming back. Yeah, star player is still tempting even with seven food, I agree. But star player might come back. Yeah, so here's the problem with uh, Country Silo. Kai gets its first grain from it four rounds after it's played. And it's after the sow actions are taken. And it doesn't have a point on it. It's just uh, not a great card. It looks like it should be good because you think three wood, people love three wood, but it uh, warps the way people play around it. So, Diamond Mine. Good card. So I'll start player Lamp Oil and grab a reed, which I will immediately convert to a grain. Last action could be fence as well. Oh, you're right. That's fine. I totally forgot about 24601. Uh, yeah, I'm just preemptively doing my balance farmer. I could do it next round as well, but just kind of preemptively showing that balance farmer. Cheapskate, shepherd, Shepherd's Boy, and what's the miner that's going with this? Homework. Wow. And then playing another two occupations. Wow. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, the thing I hate about it, though, 
You need space for three breeding pairs. He doesn't have space for three breeding pairs. Okay, officer. Yeah, that helps. That's cool. That helps a lot. Yeah, no space for all the boar. Yeah, does have space. Does have animal yard in play plus two stables. So it does have space for five animals, but yeah, not enough for two breeding pairs at once. And then smuggler, smuggler to give grain or extra stone for the uh, stone sculptor. So that helps Narrows for sure. I need to feed eight and I balance one. Four ox in one ac action is pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It reminds me of. Um... Oh, what, what was that card? There was a card. There was a G45 card called Crash Course for a long time. And it was. It was free occupations, but you could o you couldn't only play occupations when you played Crash Course, and you were not allowed to. Um, you were not allowed to. Uh, you 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 played two occupations per every completed stage, so you'd play it in stage four, play six occupations all at once for no food, and especially since cards like. Um, Wealthiest European had come out. It was uh, quite good. So I family growth and baby sling, of course. So that was family growth was like the best thing that could have come for me. It is good for narrows for me to show it, but fine. I mean, my action doesn't really change, but should be saying it at the beginning. Um, so I want to fence this round. I want to take vegetable. Fence and take vegetable. Those are two things I want to do. Um, take reed maybe? Maybe I don't go for a stone house. Maybe I just play cloister, go to clay, and that's enough. It's going to be a couple actions. And the fencing, like Reno fence and Reno major are not going to be moves that I want in round 14. And I don't think I'll get it in time for round 13. I think I can get it in time for round 13, but I don't think it will be worth it to get the three food. So, yeah. So I think I fence with this action because it's possible that two cattle come all the way back to me. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, Kai takes them, but Naros might not. He plays start player clay exchange, beautiful. This means I'm getting plow sow or plow in the next round. I'm happy with either move. Or I could even start player theoretically. Clay exchange actually helps me get uh, a three clay fireplace if I want it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven.
So now I could do something like reno clay exchange. No, I wouldn't want to reno clay exchange. I would want to start player and then reno fireplace. Start player clay exchange and then reno fireplace is an okay option. And then I can eat some of my sheep since I'll probably need to do so. Although I do get to balance farm this round. Assuming that I don't sow, which, hmm, sowing is definitely worth something. How much is it worth? I need 26 food. Yeah, I do. I need quite a bit of food. So yeah, I do need a fireplace or something. Yeah, so nine nine food or sorry, ten food next to harvest plus six to pay off my uh, borrower. Yeah, makes sense. Kai plays pottery, saving two stone. Narrows took the cattle. Sure. I could reno clay exchange and then just major minor fireplace in the next two rounds. That's an option as well because I can always start player cloister if I need to. Should I take six food sheep here? You know what? No, it's only six food if I have the fireplace. So maybe I wait for next round and hope that it goes up. Yeah, I think this is okay. And I'll turn a reed into, or a, a reed into three clay and then get the reed back. And then three, one, one. It means I balance farmer one less, but I think it's okay. I actually need 28 food, Sid. Forgot about, uh, forgot about uh, fence delivery men. So I could take vegetable, nope, vegetable just got grabbed, okay, um, I could sow bake, um, so I'm pretty sure V is going to plow sow, after V plow sows, I could start player or I could plow myself, um, Kai definitely looks like he wants to go on sow, or would go on sow if he could, Naros, Narrows wants plows, so I could just take plow myself, and if I take plow myself, then I think I'm giving myself a reasonable shot at building two stables and getting the um, head of the revolution bonus. So if I'm going to plow first action next round, I'm not going to cloister, so that means I should go for so bake here, I think. Although this is not that many points. This is only two point move. And I think the sheep might be more than two points. Because that food is actually going to be very relevant. 
two food, defense four, balance one. I think V will family growth. Uh, v built a fifth room. I'm pretty sure V is not going to family growth. V, v is going to family growth with this action here because V built a fifth room. Yeah. Yeah, looking at my resources, I think just playing Cloister makes a lot of sense. I'm happy to get two boar. I'm happy to plow. I'm happy to take wood and then stables. Doe Academy says wood is tight. Hey, Will, hey, Sid. Hey, hey Doe, hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, what is good for me? Very plow tight, yes. Yeah, nobody's played any plows, which is unusual. All right, Kai, what's going on here? Five hundred plus games. Like a quite strong player. Should be faster. Did Kai just not sow when he played turnip field? Um, nope, he uh, ate his, he sowed a one vegetable and he ate one of the vegetables. Here's wood path for V. Yeah, on Family Grove. Um, not really sure how V sewed there. Oh, it's oh, it was just it updated his farm fast and then updated the main board. Yeah, that's fine. It's all plow. Pretty sure this means Neros does start player, but I think that's okay. Why not start player for Plow So? Um, because there's a chance start player comes back. I don't think it's likely, but like family growth is appealing. So I'm kind of hoping that we see Nero's family growth and then Kai does some random move and then V star players. That would be my dream. Also because now I can take, um, well, because the other thing is I can take wood and then get the, um, Head of the Revolution bonus this round. I get it one round earlier this way. Yeah. Kai going for the, that bonus. So yeah, I will definitely take wood and then build two stables. Kai just needs one more plow. So it can first action plow with theirs um, in round 14 for a nice uh, six, um, more than six points actually, I'm pretty sure. The second person out here. 
Clay Exchange should be Neros's. Here's Candy Room. So I have two more moves. I think my two moves are Stable and then Fireplace. It would be nice to get Boar, it would be nice to get Vegetable, but I think getting that Head of the Revolution bonus is uh, too critical to pass up on. playing Basket Makers Workshop. Hopefully it's on Reno. Doe Academy says that's a crazy convict. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think anyone's going to block my build room action, right? Like, V wants defense. Neros wants defense. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm okay taking fireplace here. V baking some more grain. Between me and Kai, Kai basically built every major, including the well, twice. Yeah, Kai does have a lot of improvement points, for sure. The fact that all those stables are unfenced is a pretty big downside for his game. So that fireplace should mean that my feeding in the last round is safe. plays occupation turner uh, oh it turns it activates the where's salesman I guess Viva la revolution! Feed 10, breed 1. So I have a cool 15 bonus points on my farm. <laughs> Oh, uh, Sid says day labor becomes three wood for him. That's why he paid the turner, played the turner, because uh, of the talented tradesperson. Interesting.
Cloisters of food too, technically with popcorn. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, I will end the game with uh, with another grain. Maybe I sow it. You never know. Maybe sowing comes back to me and it's a two point action. I think it's pretty unlikely, but you never know. Yeah. Yep. So it might be a point and two food, which might be might be two points, might be more than two points. Yeah, so there's Neros, uh, so bake, or plow so, just as we expected. So then Kai should plow a field, and then V probably takes stone, I would think, to set up their reno, reno fence. Because if V doesn't, V doesn't know that I have cloister in hand. So if V doesn't, then there's a chance that I take stone and then I can block their reno fence. Yeah, storage shed gets the read back. Yeah, I, yeah. Sorry, I was I not clear with that. Definitely taking the boar here. Excellent move for me. And don't forget, I have one fewer action thanks to Convict. Room layout is a dead giveaway about Cloister. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I have a bunch of two-point moves. Cloister is a three-point move. Cattle, sheep, or no, not sheep. Cattle and vegetable are two-point moves. So bake is a two-point move. Um, so yeah, I have three moves left. Hopefully all three of them are worth at least two points. Hopefully one of them is three points, the other two are two points. Uh, so I have seven sheep in my supply. I eat six of them, that gets me to 14 food, and then I eat one boar, that gets me to 16 food, so my feeding is done. I don't need to eat any more of anything. So I just eat all my sheep and I eat one boar. Well, all my sheep but one, sorry. I eat six sheep. So, so bake is gone. So there's only one major improvement left. Kai might build it. Neros has played six miners. Kai's played five. I'm pretty sure Kai's going on major minor first, though. V hasn't played that many miners. V might have a minor that they want to play. But V has... I don't know. V definitely wants to go get on Reno Fence. What else is the question? Why do they have so much read? They don't have basket maker. They don't have. Oh, they have the. Uh, V's got um, that card that lets you turn read into points. The um, the one that lets you so read. What's that called? Card read nursery. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Sid. So I should play Cloister with this move, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, no sense risking it. I agree. Yeah, even if it downgrades one of my actions to a uh, one point action instead of a two point action, like fishing is a one point action, because it lets me eat two fewer sheep which lets me breed my sheep again. Whoops. Here's Cloister. Get a read back. So at the end of the game, I add 18 points to my score which is pretty good. 
because especially because I already have a full farm. I do have a couple negatives. And I didn't get to a stone house, but uh, yeah. Let's look at if my if we look at my score right now. Now this of course includes a bunch of sheep that I'm going to eat, but I'm already sitting at 33. Now, I am going to eat three of those points, which is three sheep, or two of those points, sorry, which is six sheep. But uh, sitting at 49 already, which is good. So cattle is gone, fishing is gone, I'll just take vegetable. Oh, and I only have one more move left. With convict. So, but three food traveling players is still a one point action. Because I can convert a reed into a food. Nope, Nero's taking it. Okay. Um, is one sheep? One she is one sheep worth anything? Oh, sheep is gone too. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think I have any points left. Day labor, probably my best move. Okay, so I need, what is it? I need to get to 16 food. I have four. I eat a boar, get me to six, and then I eat five sheep. So four food, O, five H, four F10, and pay off borrower. gone. So now I have whatever I score plus uh, 18. Don't know if it'll be enough, but uh, thirty-three plus eighteen, fifty-one here. Oh, Kai hit fifty-three. Good job, Kai. Enough for the win. Yeah, uh, missed out on some points from sowing and missing out on cattle. Those are kind of the two big things. Yeah, unfortunately, just not enough. The uh, game went pretty well for me, I have to say. Uh, I can't complain about anything, really. Just um, maybe my point ceiling was a little too low. I had kind of a silly game. I'm actually pretty surprised that it worked. But you know what? Kai did have that family growth. Family growth went really nicely for him, and he grew twice really aggressively because, yeah, Neros and V were doing their own thing. Yeah, because what Kai got the first and the third growth, right? Yeah. Sid says. I think you need to go in for start player into plow so to win while also doing stables for head of the revolution. Yeah, uh, how does that change the way this, like the thing is if I do that, does that mean Kai gets an extra plow off? But would, would what if Neros didn't plow right after I did that and then Because he had defense as well. Kai had defense as well. Because yeah, certainly. Yeah, because what I'm what I because there's a chance that he gets his plow and then he also fences. 
in round 13. Because my thinking was, I need to get my plow, I need to get this done before the start of round 14. Because there was otherwise a chance that he could beat me to it. Yeah. I mean, 51 is a respectable score. Certainly the fact that I didn't get to sow. Because if I sow here, you know, even the two grain that I have, so sowing the two grain, that's another two points, which is enough for the tie. And then one sow on the vegetable is enough, which I end with. Now, of course, that means I need to get those resources earlier, but, you know, that's a thing. Apparently, Naros ended with 52. Yeah. Tight game. Uh, 53 for Kai, 50 for V, 52 for Naros, 51 for me. Naros and V, they should have gone for family growth more aggressively. Nice to from Naros considering late Reno was brutal for him. Um, Naros didn't care about late Reno because Naros had the engineering um, and just built, needed to build a clay room. It was more V. V was the one who was hurt by late Reno because V actually did the clay plaster rooms, whereas Naros just played engineering. It slowed Officer, I guess. But he needed to set up his feeding engine as well, right? Like he needed to set up his feeding engine and get his room to hold the animals that he was gonna trigger off of his homework. Yeah, he still should have built the room to prevent Kai from growing. Yeah, the fact that he let Kai grow is pretty much brutal. Um, if he gets Officer Candy growing earlier, he crushes. Well, he needs to grow earlier to do that, right? The fact that he let Kai grow ahead of him. Anyways. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I I don't think Officer is actually that good. Um, because you have to pay a food every round for it, and it doesn't actually give you the the bonus for family growth thing. Like, it doesn't give you the three points for the person, which I think is a big problem, so. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get to a stone house. Like, getting to a stone house would have been worth something as well. Um, yeah. Nero certainly benefited from my baby sling, that's for sure. Family goes without the three points, but you can still get the three points. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think Officer is enough on its own. Maybe when you have Shepherd Boy in hand and you have Candy Room, maybe that makes it worthwhile. But, I, yeah, Officer was one of those cards that, again, I think we tried to force a lot when um, G4-5 came out, and I found, think we found it just, like, was really not worth it. Take a quick look at this draft for me. Three 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 eight one one. Yeah, educator obvious first pick. I took balance farmer here. <laughs> uh, so that was a mistake. It looks like, considering balance farmer was the second worst card in this pack. Hmm. And 24601, the second best card, came all the way back to me. Weird. And I took Borrower. Borrower's a pretty obvious pick with Educator. Project Servant only at power one, which is quite low. Hmm. Thatcher's Helper. Yeah, Cheapskate is ranked quite highly, which is unusual. 24601, sure. Cloister over popcorn. The top two cards by draft position came back to me out of this pack, which is kind of crazy. 
Storage Shed, Baby Sling, Best Card by Power, Lamp Oil a little worse than Cow Chips, but I think it's probably fine. Popcorn. I, could, I guess I should have taken Candy Room over Guest Plow, eh? 2.9, although I wasn't even sure I was going to get to a Stone House. Whale Oil, like raspberries. I had a 4.1 power card available for me at the end, but how do I not take ra raspberries, right? Yeah, no high occupation miners. Yeah, no animal pen, no quarry, something like that. Unfortunately, no swan lake. Um, anyways, that's going to be all for me for today. Thank you for watching this little video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, what am I going to stream next? Um, probably not for a while. I probably won't stream this weekend because uh, it's Thanksgiving in Canada. So I'm going to be gone for most of the weekend. Uh, maybe Monday. Maybe I'll plan on coming back a little early Monday and streaming on Monday. Kind of late afternoon or something. Um, but yeah, not, not, not before then, I don't think. There's a chance I do on Saturday before I go home. But... I think we're going to go play Magic. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, I will uh, see you guys next time, though. And, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a follow on Twitch. And uh, and then you can uh, tell me the stuff I'm screwed up. I'm screwing up. Um, Educator just didn't really have much food. My occupations were bad. Whale oil was huge. Yeah, it was. And see you as well. Have a, have a nice week, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.